Howdy neighbors, David here. <laughs> and today on Boondock Stallions, it is just after midnight and I am here outside of the Palladium IMAX Theater here in San Antonio. It is awesome, favorite place to come, see all these big budget IMAX movies. Let There Be Carnage was amazing, did not disappoint the entire way through. Uh, spoiler warning, it wasn't Andrew Garfield at the end of the movie as I had it in originally intended, but I said that it was going to be a Spider-Man. I went with Andrew Garfield and we got Tom Holland. Ah! But that doesn't mean that I was necessarily wrong. You see, in the post credit scene, when everything fades over, the whole multiverse changes around Eddie. And if you looked at the newspaper print that was going on throughout the rest of the movie, all the other Daily Bugle uh, letterheads looked exactly like the ones in Andrew Garfield's Spider-Man movies. And then the world changed around him, and he was stuck in the Tom Holland uh, universe where you see the clip with the Daily Bugle and... Um, He's outed by J. Jonah Jameson uh, as Peter Parker at the end of Far From Home. So we know that the multiverse event happened and moved Eddie into that universe. He wasn't originally there, and I still think that he was at one point in the Andrew Garfield universe. I'll make a full video about this later on when I get home. Be excellent to each other and party on dudes.